There is no mistake a Chow Chow. These iconic dog breeds have so many unique characteristics, they will never get mixed up with another breed. Both handsome and formidable, with slightly wrinkled faces and an impressive lion's mane ruff. Most know they originally came from Asia, and that they have an unusual bluish tongue. But there are more interesting secrets to discover. Hi there, this is Dog Dingda. Before we begin, please do support us by subscribing on our channel. We offer you a daily dose of dog related contents. For this video, we will talk about the amazing dog breed, the Chow Chow. Is this dog best for your home? Tune in to find out. A Chow by any other name. In the 18th century, the English used the term Chow Chow, the way we might use knickknack today. Anything new and unusual with Eastern origins was likely to be labeled with the term derived from the Mandarin Chinese cha. It means mix or mixed. They called all furniture, clothing, food, etc. coming from the East Chow Chow. When the breed first arrived by ship to England, importers simply referred to them using the same term. And two, to grow on. An adult human normally has 32 teeth. This number sounds pretty impressive until you compare it man's best friend, who usually has 42. The Chow Chow has the unique distinction of having two extra teeth in puppyhood. These extra teeth will fall out as the puppy grows their adult setting. Most prefer to stay high and dry. One important fact about Chows that owners should know pertains to their dislike of water. While these dogs have a strong breed history as working dogs in their native China, they didn't work on the river banks or shorelines. That's because one of their signature features, their uniquely fluffy double coat, proves to be a hazard in the water. A dog that's the cat's meow. Chows are unique among most popular dog breeds for being aloof and stand of fish. Rather than rushing to greet owners at the door or straining at their leashes to greet other dogs, they are more likely to hang back and observe, almost in a feline way. They are not as affection motivated as some canines, while they can do and appreciate a good scratch behind the ears. One might have more luck enticing desired behavior and socialization with treats. This also means they are an excellent companion for would-be pet owners interested in a pup with an independent personality and soft temperament. They are lone wolves in a sense. Some dogs bond heavily with a single person, preferring to spend the majority of their time with that lucky individual. For Chows, this is a way of life. It's the single-minded devotion that gives them a reputation for being fiercely protective and also why socialization is so important for this breed. Experts recommend starting socialization as early and often as possible with Chow Chow puppies. They tend to isolate and become distrustful of all unfamiliar visitors to the home unless care is taken with training. They have a straight-legged gait. One of the fun facts about Chow Chow is their very visually intriguing walk. Their natural fluffiness, their curly tail bobbing, and of course their unmistakable stilled gait. Chows have straight back legs that do not bend the way most breeds do. They walk in a way that almost resembles ballerians and point. When observed in a particularly fluffy rough coated chow, the effect is memorable. This also means that owners have to be partially careful to watch for the signs of hip dysplasia in our older chows. They are not the new kid in town. While most breeds derive from a handful of cross breeds, chow chows are thought to be one of the original breeds. This means not crossed with anything else but the true embodiment of pure breed dogs. When humans first began to domesticate wolves and wild dogs, some dog experts believe the chow was a result of those first tentative human canine steps. The breed's fluffy coat and upturned tail certainly point to old fish similarity. The infamous black blue tongue. 
Let's not forget one of the most interesting fact about chow chows. While most canines have a reddish pink mouth and tongue, the chows are a deep black blue color. The only other dog that shares this oddly colored tongue trait is the Sherpai, a fellow Asia derived breed. The blue color is completely harmless, though an obviously untrue urban legend maintains that chow's tongues are completely poisonous. This old wild tale comes courtesy of the chow tongue's resemblance to that of the venomous Australian death adder snake, a fellow blue-tongued creature that actually is harmful. A coat of many colors. Chow chows actually come in a surprising number of coat colors other than their usual red. They may have deep black, blue, cinnamon, or cream-colored coats as well. In addition, their coat qualities may be rough with a lot of volume and fluff or smooth with a more sleek look. Blue chows are some of the most sought after and prized. They have some famous fans. Certain breeds are incredibly linked to famous people. Queen Elizabeth's Corgis, for example. Chows have some unusual celebrity owners in their history, including the father of psychology himself. Sigmund Freud, the most famous of Freud's chows was Yofi, who would routinely sit in on Freud's therapy sessions with patients. He would even signal the session time was up by walking to the door. Other chow-loving celebs include homemaking maven Martha Stewart, actor Clark Gable, and even President Calvin Coolidge. Walt Disney himself famously owned a chow, which was given as a puppy to his wife, Lily. A stately beautiful breed of dog, Chow Chows are a product of their long lineage. They are both visually stunning and very set in their ways without patient training. Content to keep their own company, they do well as only dogs in a household. This means they should be heavily socialized to encourage positive behaviors and temperament.